saw on the news this week, 170 politicians coming to Copenhagen, Denmark, trying to save this world. And at the 11th hour, they came up with the so-called Copenhagen Accord. Climate change is a problem, and they're desperately trying to find a way to make things right. I want to share some verses from the Bible today to show you that what is happening in the world today was foretold many years ago. This scripture is about the great tribulation before the Lord Jesus Christ returns. And the kings of the earth and the great men, and the rich men and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? When Christ returns to earth, over one third of the earth would have perished. We know that the temperature will increase double. There will be famine, there will be droughts. It's going to be a terrible time. The governments of today think they can stop this, but in the essence, all they can do is put a plaster over the cracks. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said there will be nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. In reality, you can't stop what God has already ordained to happen. God's judgment is upon this world. The Apostle Peter says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. God is going to destroy the earth with fire, and then he will make a new heaven and a new earth. It is paramount that people understand where they will go when they die. There's a literal heaven to be had and a literal hell to avoid. You need to be born again. The Bible says if you tell a lie, you are a liar. Just tell one lie and you qualify as a liar. Jesus said he came for sinners, not for the righteous. If you're a good person, then Christ can't benefit you. Good people go to heaven, and bad people go to heaven. Think about it. Good people go to hell, and bad people go to heaven. Why? Because Christ forgives the bad people who ask to be forgiven. If you are a self-righteous person, then Jesus Christ won't profit you. 150,000 people die every day. That's about 7,000 an hour. Christ says the road to destruction is broad. The many there are which go in there are at. But the gate, or the entrance to heaven, is narrow. And few there are which find the gate. There's only one God. There's only one Saviour. His name is Jesus Christ. There's many false religions in the world today. Many ways which seem right, but they are fraudulent. As we get nearer to Christmas, people will be going to church to bribe the Lord. They're going to bribe the Lord with their good works. They're going to bribe the Lord with their tithing. And they're going to be singing carols. The reality is that churches are full of unsaved people. You need to come out of religion and get into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus says, all that ever come before me are thieves and robbers. Unless you realize you are a sinner, unless you repent and call on the name of the Lord, you will go to hell. I gave you two verses telling you about the second coming. God will destroy the earth with fire. Go back to the book of Genesis, you read about Noah. There was a terrible flood. Only one family escaped the flood. God destroyed everybody and everything. And the second coming, it says in the... Uh, Epistle of Peter, only few will be saved. Only the righteous are going to be saved. You need to decide today who are you going to follow, who are you going to trust. The Bible says if you repent and believe in the Son of God, you will be saved. But if you continue on as you are in your good works and your loose living, then the Bible says there's nowhere for you. God is a holy and righteous God. Please repent and trust Jesus Christ today.